Welcome back everyone to episode 11 in our US campaign in War on the Sea. So as usual, we're going to have to give some orders to ships that have abandoned their orders at the end of the episode, at the end of the, well basically when loading the save game. Task Force 10 herself has uh, decided to forget her orders. I still feel like the best situation for us here is to send her... I wonder why it won't let me go this far. I think we're still going to send her into the slot. Actually, I think we're just going to send her right for the Florida Islands and Guadalcanal directly to try to intercept a lot of the transport ships going there. There's been no buildup still on these airfields. We know that you need to RTB. You tell, actually, you still have 211 available to you, so can I delay that order? Maybe just scan, I mean 211, this is, we can get a good scouting uh, shot of the channel. You need to RTB. We're now missing several of the originals. Okay, then, yeah, what is gonna go on? I think Triton is just gonna move into this area. Move her right in. I, I don't think she... I may lose her. But hopefully the exchange will go in our favor. We already have the, the Tambor and the Tautog set up in very good, very favorable patrol positions. I actually don't want the Thresher to do such a meandering patrol. I'm going to be a little bit more aggressive with her. Doing something uh, that gets her to... Like, what I, what I want to think about is... Where is the greatest chance of intercepting the Japanese ships? And it's over here, so we really want to get there as quick as possible. With the only little... No, nah, I mean, I was going to say, we might want to scan this area for Japanese ships, just to make sure that nobody's making an assault in Port Moresby, but... I'm just going to rely on my aircraft to detect that. So you're going right on in, and then when you get here, it just seems like the perfect patrol area to make sure that we're covering... Pretty much the whole gap. Now, they can still definitely slip by in this patrol pattern, but I still want her to kind of cover that area as best as we can. And we'll feel at least a little bit more comfortable that, I mean, it's all a pro game of probab probability, excuse me. There's a, a higher chance of them slipping through the gap here if we don't have anybody patrolling, even if we're only patrolling with airplanes. Or it's probably even worse if we only have a submarine and we don't use our airplanes. We're just trying to maximize our chance of catching them. It's still possible that they sneak behind, but that's just part of the fog of war. Okay, so orders have been given. We also do have um, plenty of float planes on Task Force 10. Uh, let's maybe get the Portland to launch some of hers. Oops. Yeah, we'll send these Kingfishers off in just ones. Um, they have a range of 350, so let's scout east of Malaita. It's the first time I've said it right, I guess. Thank you for the corrections in the comments. Yeah, so just to send somebody to make sure they're not heading over to the Santa Cruz Islands. We, we don't know what's going on there. Big question, can we launch more than one at a time? No. But I suppose the Indianapolis can then launch one. And this one is going to head and kind of cover uh, like another arc over here. I don't think that these legs work, but that's ideally what I would want. What's even better is if I can get the ship again. Okay, well let's just start moving forward so I can get the aircraft. Uh, I mean the ships so I can launch from the Brooklyn, because she also has some planes available to us. Just want to make sure we didn't miss anything. It's been a long time. I mean, we've spent a long time playing this game so far. Mostly in this area. But, you know, the game map has the Pacific Ocean and this northeastern area. We have no idea what might have gone up there. No real reason for the Japanese to have gone up there. But it doesn't hurt us to check. We've been surprised before. I mean, remember that very near encounter with the Enterprise being chased down by the Japanese cruiser force. That was, that was very tense. Similarly, although I'm going to rely on Russell Island to patrol this general cone... I'm gonna get another full plane headed just due west to see what might be over there. Okay, and then we can move on. Enemy spotted near Wild. Whoa! Oh, this is fantastic. Oh, not so fantastic. That's actually out of my reach. 
Okay, ignore that. It's a good notification. Most importantly, which way are they headed? They're headed down. Um, I would really like to know the range on my... I think that's a just about the range of my Avengers. We'll get them on the way back. Okay, Philadelphia, we could launch more aircraft. I don't think we need to. We have this scouted nicely, this scouted nicely. D-17s head back. I mean, more or less everything's going according to plan. <laughs> yeah, we will keep the Farragut and Selfridge, although they're very low on depth charges. Yeah, Enterprise can launch more. What is... I mean, Enterprise is the only one who doesn't have an order here. I just want more command points. If we can get another formation just like this. So, two Fletchers. We don't need Fletchers. Fletchers was kind of overkill. What I really need is just any two destroyers. We can get some six-point destroyers. The Atlanta is, what, 14 by herself? Let's just take a look. Let's start building, theory crafting our next formation, which will be with the Hornet. So... I don't think we need these. Let's see who of these has the dual purpose. Not the Summers, I knew that. Yeah, Bagley, we could just get two. I think we're just gonna grab two Bagleys. And then one Atlanta, which has slightly better surface detection. <laughs> Maybe even instead of the Bra uh, Atlantas, we should grab something with more surface radar. Uh, but no, I think anti-aircraft is extremely important. Technically, we shouldn't need the, the surface radar since our aircraft should be spotting a lot of the time. And this is an increase in cost. It's only two points? Oh man, you're making me reconsider. Well, I will think on that. Either of them are, I mean, they're both 18 or 20 points, which means I need a 110, 122. I need 122 points to be able to do this. Technically, I need 120 if I use the Atlanta, because it's two points less. But 120 points is still 30 points away from where we are. Or 31 to be exact. Okay, so scouting this. This is good. This is good. There, RTB. Okay. Enemy aircraft spotted near that. Now, I don't think we'll win this in game. Oh, well, we don't have a choice. <laughs> okay, fine. This will be kind of interesting. Aircraft versus aircraft. Still have those three destroyers. I'm going to launch, using this moment, my Avengers. So... I don't know if my... Okay, three destroyers. I don't know if I want to do torpedoes against destroyers. Well, they don't dodge, though. It's just so... I kind of want to take rockets or bombs just to experiment with them. But, man, that just... Okay, let's do it. Let's take rockets just to really mix it up. And I think that would normally... 360? Oh yeah, we're way, way out of range. Well, I'll do my best. We'll still, like, target them. Or should I just land right away? Ah, we'll go for it. Okay, so let's, um, let's get into this encounter. There hasn't been too many bugs lately, so I won't bother with the saving, but... Now, we're up against four zeros. That means that we're going to be at a huge disadvantage. However, we do have more armor. So as long as we... I mean, I think the Wildcat almost has an advantage in this. Okay. I'm going to manually control number two myself. Um, so hopefully we can get... Okay, there's somebody coming around. To our, our rear. Our six. Looks like we're going to get some shots in. Oh god, that was not good. Turn. Got some hits there. This is not good. Got more hits. Turning. <laughs> We're going to become an aerial ace <laughs> just by manually controlling this thing. The uh, Wildcat, ever known for its turning prowess. <laughs> this is not definitely not the way it should be going. But let's increase speed. Turn on to this one. Oh boy. They got me. 
Well, that was about how I expected it to go. We probably should have just kept the, lo the speed low. I'm pretty sure that turning arc is related to turning speed. The Wildcats probably shouldn't have performed, performed that poorly. But that's just how the cookie crumbles when it's your first... I don't know, the air engagements... We can micromanage them, but probably don't need to. Alright, so this, we still know where the three destroyers are. Still don't want the Thresher getting involved there. Let's keep an eye on things on the eastern side. Okay, it's kind of going to be interesting to see all these float planes fan out as well. A little bacon launch. Okay, another... I have to begin this one. Hmm. Well, let's just immediately go to periscope depth. We can just crash dive. Oops, yeah, crash dive. Time compression. Well, we'll time compress for as long as we can, raise our radar. Oh wow, that's a lot of aircraft. Is it all just zeros though? If it's all just zeros, I'm not too worried. Because we'll get underwater. We should get underwater first, hopefully. I'm starting to doubt. <laughs> They're closing. Well, when I say crash dive, I mean it. Okay. Just in time, we're going to get under the waves. Yeah. We can't use the radar anymore because we're too deep. Just uh, just steady up on your current depth. Drop your speed. All's well. Looks like we've been, you know, it's not nothing really gonna happen. We're deep enough that hey, at least the bullet. We've re-established contact on the aircraft. How? Oh, that's interesting. Looks like they are going to come in for a bullet run. No, don't shoot the water. You're going to kill the fish. Okay, they didn't. That's nice. Yeah, I'll just retreat on out of this. So large aircraft presence, which makes sense for having so many air bases in the area. That might be something we have to deal with pretty often. I hope not, but it might become a, <laughs> something I'm going to skip through. Yeah. Okay, well, let's get the Dauntlesses and Avengers back. I'll probably send one more strike. And then, is it time for the Enterprise to start retiring? I mean, I guess we can... We're, it's so nice to be just stations just south of the island. And, you know, being protected by the landmass, but then still sending our bombers over. V-17 would scout anything moving through there. You are mobile. You are moving. Good. Rental Island ready to launch, so that's probably something we should do. I'm going to try to keep the game running at all times at 1x. Oh, we just need some serious scouting over this way. And then when you can launch again, we'll have you launch the next one further west. Perfect. This one, 337, something like that. Aircraft, launch one more of our Kingfishers. 350. Just keep eyes to the west of us. I think that's going to be important. Had the Indianapolis also. Okay, Portland, I know, but we don't need you guys to launch. Oh, Portland only has one. Did I accidentally launch? Is one of these like a group of multiple? No. Okay, well, I'll use the Portland again. I don't understand why is they they're the same class. I must have accidentally launched a whole bunch. So 350. Doesn't it feel like I go farther this way? Is it just my the aspect ratio of the like, like this? This is 345. 
And this is 345. Doesn't that seem like a lot less of a... If I just took a ruler to my monitor, I just feel like this is <laughs> way farther. <laughs> it's perfect. We're going to go right through the... Right through the straight. So that's worth scouting as well. Yeah. And we're ready to launch more aircraft immediately. Enterprise is ready to launch. Okay. Well, this is a, certainly a decision. Do we want to go? Well, I, th I feel like yes. The answer is yes because those those um, da Dauntlesses can do level bombing even if we really wanted. Might be kind of fun to experiment with doing level bombing with them. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. Tr let's go see how this works. We're getting into experiment experimentation zone. I am gonna pull the Enterprise back a little bit though. It would be just a horrible, horrible mess and a shame to lose her. Obviously. Were more of these ready to launch? Oh, I, I haven't... Oh, the Avengers are still there. Didn't I just get two indications for Morsby was ready to launch? Hmm. Enterprise... Well, let's have them hold on to those for now, unless, wait, do we have Wildcats still here? We do. Let's send two more off. Uh, continue to check the slot, I suppose. We're, we have really good air coverage. At least, you know, obviously during the day. Oh, okay. Dauntlesses. Correct course slightly. Move west of Savo Island. There's the one lonely destroyer. <laughs> one is the loneliest number in the world. Okay, well let's do the world. Get into the action here. Start. Begin our climb. Just very, very important here that we preserve these aircraft. Okay, and there is the destroyer. <laughs> Not actually what I'm pursuing. Somewhere over to the southwest, west-southwest, I presume, we're going to find the other ships. Very presumptuous of me. Please don't make me destroy that one single destroyer. They might be even, like, further south? Okay, there's that one. That's not the one I'm looking for. These aren't the ships I'm looking for. Did we not get the other ones? Oh my gosh, what a disaster. We were very close. We were, I, I mean, I'm pretty sure we were closer to them than I was to the destroyer, right? These things I will go back and look at in post, but right now it's really surprising to me. Doesn't seem like we're going to be, okay, well, I'm going to continue the search. Well, I cursed the air, but somehow we actually did not get the main uh, cruiser group in. I, I have no idea how or why or what happened, but... So we'll do an all drop from 8,200 feet. This is level bombing at its finest. <laughs> I mean, I really looked everywhere. It's probably been 10 minutes since whenever we were last uh, on camera together. This thing has a relatively, small, uh, relatively low speed. We're gonna bomb it from the stern should give us a really good advantage and actually increase our chances by going that way a little bit more. There we go. So it is on uh, bearing 272. My heading is 272. We're looking good. We can fine tune at the very end here. Let's also lower speed just to decrease bomb spread a little bit. Dropping all should be pretty easy. Now, if this doesn't work out, we're in good shape because 
I have a group of four Dauntlesses still en route. But I haven't tried this before, so this will be kind of fun. A little bit of an experiment. See how that works. Okay, well let's see what happens. Somewhere in the heavens <laughs> are some bombs headed our way. Oh, oh there. They're coming down very quickly. I only see one. Which was <laughs> actually <laughs> enough to get a hit. I thought I said all drop, but what I'm suspecting happened is only one dropped. Is this the case? Yeah, so there is no all drop then, but that actually worked out like insanely good. <laughs> we we um first of all we know that the arrow the bullseye is pretty accurate. We also know that pff, this is just as effective. No AA return fire. I mean, we've broken the game. This is how it worked with. I mean, a lot of their games you can always you can find a little cheese, a little way to get in there and do some damage for free, which we now obviously have. Well, it looks like we've set the destroyer on some evasive turns, which is nice. Probably should have... Maybe oh, maybe their spotters are really, really wary from the previous battle with the B-17s. Um, they were off maybe at low like, low staff or... I don't know. We, we want to try to imagine some reason why they didn't engage. Drop down a little bit more, slow down even more, and turn back... Looks like their new heading is more or less fixed. Also get five, who still retains number seven. Just make a turn back this way, and look at four was still scouting down here, and just nothing, finding nothing. I, did, I just can't believe that it. it didn't work out that way. All right, zoom in. We could probably do the level bombing from here better than anything. Why not? Okay, looking good. Looks like she's turning slightly. Bombs away. Ma, I think we missed that one. But that's okay. Number six will just go over here. Number seven, <laughs> you're up. It's your turn. We'll, um, we'll keep eyes on the destroyer here. Ah, I mean, if we might have actually gotten a, at least a near miss. I'll look for some bombs falling out of the sky. Oh! Oh, wow! Actually, looks like a near miss, but no no direct hits, that's for sure. Alright, so number seven, you're up. Ah, okay, whoops. Um, take us back into this. Let's try the, the difficulty thing, which should be hitting it from the side. I don't know if this is going to work, but we'll try it. Slowly getting overhead. I like it because the overlay is still there. We see the Dauntless in the background. So bombs are two. So I don't need to look anymore, I can just do two with my hands. Alright, bombs away. That one felt pretty good. The Americans have truly mastered... I think she might already be sinking, by the way. Not that she's sinking right now, but the amount of fires on her, that seems hard to recover from. Let's try to catch these bombs wherever they be. Oof! Narrow miss. So we let her a little too much. Dropped a little bit too late. Okay, that's, uh, that's those down, but 
we have a whole formation. We'll get them up to 8,000 since this is fun. <laughs> um, let's, can I go into box formation? So, one... Form up in box formation. Mm, that's not the box I wanted. I mean, this is combat box. This is like what the B-17s would be using, but... I want the diamond. They don't give me a diamond formation, which would be perfect. Alright, forget that then. Well, you're going off on your own then for... You're, there's just no way I'm going to have you attack with everyone else. And where are you guys? Heading the wrong way entirely? Okay, let's <laughs> change course. Eh, she's burning fairly nicely already. Let's get our dive bombers over here. Alright, we are closing in with the wounded... I don't even know what this is. The wounded... dead meat. I want to lead a little bit more because I've, I've been hitting the back a lot. I'll try to do that. It makes a big difference slowing down. Yeah, I'll we have the next group ready to go as well. <laughs> I'll do probably some formation dive bombing. I mean, I could do dive bombing itself. I don't think we'll lose anybody. I don't think so. Speed up a little bit. It's so nice to use time compression. And bombs. Missed that one a little bit to the right, but I'm not too worried about it. Okay, just, I guess, nav off over here. Let's get the other group ready. Kind of want to see the result of those bombs. Oh, here they come. Oh, nice. Did we actually start another fire? Yeah, we did. <laughs> so the near misses are doing work. That's fantastic. I have to say, I'm pretty convinced already at this point that... that she's already dead. That's pretty good work. Nonetheless... We'll come in with our other dive bombers. And... I guess I don't want to drop in formation. Gotta get really exact. You don't have any bombs left? Don't believe that. Oh, this is looking good. Alright. I right, this thing is already done for. Listing heavily. See if we can catch those bombs coming down. There they are. Can't get the angle I want to see him. Well, it's looking good, I have to say. Oh my gosh. <laughs> looking good, understatement. Direct hit from 8,000 feet. Is that impossible? I'm going to say it's not impossible. It's just almost impossible. It's definitely impossible to be as precise as we're being. And that's that. So, good news, we sank a destroyer, we tested level bombing from 8,000 feet. Bad news, we didn't find the main cruiser force, which would have been a much better target for this. But that's fine, we can actually use the same tactic on them, if we want. I'm still really confused why we didn't get... Like, look how close we were to that. And we were... We actually patrolled all the way down west of the island. So it's a little bit bogus that they didn't get brought in. Well, anyways, we know what we can do. We can launch our Avengers with AP or HE. I actually don't know. Well, HE is going to be good no matter what. I, I, I think AP for sure for bombers, I mean for battleships. Not so sure about heavy cruisers. They're kind of in this middle ground. Probably AP is still good, but a HE is definitely still going to be good. So it's like, we know that this will be effective. And we can get them at altitude, so 
No, no problems to do this. Good spread. I just love this scout plane going everywhere. It's fantastic. We know somewhere over here, by the way, Milna, can you launch again? We need to keep tabs on those three destroyers just in case the Avengers are able to get into range. So just south of the O by about a little bit. Right here, so let's go like this. Okay, Enterprise is ready to launch aircraft. We'll keep those for now. Best way for us to, to like keep ourselves in the AO as much as possible, but then also head back is probably just to head due east, not to head south, which is what I was doing. Just ready to launch aircraft. That's fine. Get the Dauntlesses back up and running first. Tog tog. We have to do this one. Okay. Oh dear. Okay. Well, this is a little bit bothersome. Crash dive, immediate order of action. Oh, what do you know? We're already starting deep in the water. Okay, too deep. Well, that's fine. Don't actually go too fast just in case there are ships in the area. Maybe set your final depth to 200, just to throw them off a little bit. 250, our test depth. Let them. I have a, a stupid pixel on my monitor, which is not working. Constantly mistake it for the enemy dive bombers, or the enemy in general. Sit and wait. Well, I didn't want to sit and wait for that long, so I just left the battle. Everything's fine there. It's nice that we actually started at, at periscope depth. I've never had that happen before. Okay, and then one last, hopefully unfair fight. More speed. Yeah. Over here. Let's ma really make sure we get on top of them. They, that has to be a connection. Eight thousand fifty feet, the magic number. Okay, there they are. Looks like at our eight o'clock. Bomber, I mean heavy cruisers, a lot easier to hit than destroyers, having that nice big profile. Who do we want to single out? Because we're definitely going to go for one. I'm probably going to use line formation. I have an idea. Yes, I have a very good idea. We're going to use one. So first of all, definitely going to want to time compress a little bit here. kind of just make this line like that. Ooh, that's not perfect, but that's fine. Just to give us time to climb up to 8,050. 8, yeah, and then I want a lot of waypoints here because sometimes they finish the waypoint a little bit early. So the more you have, the more they continue to correct. It's really good. Our target will be the... Is this the Mogami? No, this is not, because Mogami has the... I'm starting to get it has the raised first turret. So this is... Have I seen these before? I mean, I've seen these types before, but... Let's... I mean, while our aircraft are doing their thing, let me get an identification. Since you are the one I'm going to target, let's figure out what you are. We almost know him by heart now, but so not... Not... Okay, it could be this. It's not because the mast is backwards. There we go. Miyoko. The Miyoko Ono. So I just can't not make that joke. This appears to be. Yeah, this appears to be it. Okay, so.
And I think you are also a Miyoko. I think they're the same exact one. Well, let's see what three uh, high explosive bombs can do to one of these things. Okay, well, we're making our final here. Formation is line ahead. I'm pretty sure everyone can figure out what the plan is here. Drop, pause, jump back to the second plane. Drop, pause, drop back to the third plane. Drop, and then hopefully get back to the Miyoko in time to watch where my bombs are falling. So it's time to really get close in. Let's get a view. Targeting her. I want to take off that... I guess technically it's not a bad thing to be... Oh god, they're turning. Brilliant. Unfortunately, brilliant. <laughs> Let's do a quick turn, cut our speed a little bit more, try to get behind their new angle. It's really cool to see them actually taking evasive maneuvers. This might just be a planned turn. It's nonetheless very effective. Cut speed. Are we taking flak yet? No, 8,000 seems to be the magic number. That's a very hard turn. I almost want to cancel this attack, but here we go. Okay. She's a big target. Yep, we are getting flak now. Yes, I'm going to micro. Oh god, our bomb days are open. Well, look, continue on this course. Two, open your bomb bays. Three, open your bomb bays. Damn it, anyhow, that was such a beautiful run. I'm saying on two, you're, you're on your own. So, break formation. Target. Are your bomb bays open now? That's the big question. Uh, maybe? <laughs> we'll just drop and if it works, it works. Nope, doesn't work. Okay, so number three, you're the only hope <laughs> left. Target. Cut speed. Okay, this one looks good. We actually dropped one set of bombs. Okay, we'll come back around. I'll just cut. See how this goes. See how the first drop goes first, though. That's not... We might miss. It is cool that we were taking flak, though. Oh my gosh, perfect! Oh, and also, we saw the 2D nature of... <laughs> Sorry. We saw the 2D nature of these um, explosion graphics. Well, hey, that, that'll get a fire started, but also, like, almost immediately suppressed. Fair enough, fair enough. Now, number three, you're... You, you served your purpose, but... Two, one and two are going to come back around... We'll try this again, with bomb bays open this time, for cry crying out loud. Okay. We're making our turn, but it's, it's, it's very cool to see the Miyoko. She's still targeting number three, thankfully. Oh, might have switched targets. She's very cool, though. This is very immersive to me, to be by the cruiser watching her fire. We're just patrolling above with number three, who's already dropped their bombs. I guess we can close our bomb bays as well. It's very, it's very cool. There, there was a collision avoidance. The AI is getting a little better, I guess, at not running into it. Um, it's other ships. We still have this one smoking. Always, it's just so beautiful to see this from above. It just it reminds me of so many of those World War II, you know, black and white photos you get, where you do see something smoking. I mean, usually it's much more smoke, but. 
very cool to see. So number three is just our flak magnet for the time being, while one and two prepare to make their approach uh, for a second time. And I guess we're just about time to drop over to them. Yep, looks like it is time. Two is on. Yeah, so we'll probably slow them down to just minimum speed. Two for a spin there. One should be beginning her turn. Oops. All right. Kind of messing this up again, but it's what you get for having to micromanage, so it's completely fair in my opinion. I am liking this though. One's bombs are away. What are you doing? Oh, whoa, that's not the way I had you turn. Okay, where's my bomb? <laughs> okay, let's watch. The other bombs should just be about ready to hit. Oh my gosh, perfect hits again. And one last coming in. So bombing from altitude. Not surprisingly, if we have a perfectly accurate gun sight, is not too difficult. <laughs> it's just impossible to have that. Anyway, we'll take it. Here comes the last one. Oof. Near miss. And a hit. Okay, wow. She's going to have a lot of work to do. Let's have all, all of them form up. Um, Vic formation with big spread. Form up. Maintain altitude. Get up to speed. And let's start a big patrol around. Just so I can watch the burning happen. Click around a whole bunch. Well, she is dead in the water. Is she sinking? I mean, things do not look good for her. Oh, this would be a very... This would be a huge success. This would mean that we know even three Avengers... And, you know, water's already starting to lap over onto the deck. A strong list developing to her port side. <laughs> which one? I'll figure out which side I'm looking at. I think that she's not long. It's not long before we get a report. Oh, she's fighting the fires. They are emerging still. I just don't. I don't see it happening. Should be very easy to see her from a distance. So if they get those fires under control, maybe they do save this ship. there it is. Mission accomplished. Alright, we actually did minor damage. Oh, this is leftover minor damage. Does that... What does that mean? Oh my gosh. Six sank? Because of the choppy sea state? And I didn't let the Miyoko finish dying. Oh no, oh no. Well, the Dauntlesses will be back to finish the job, I guess. This is crazy. I think this is one of the Japanese destroyers actually sank because of um, choppy sea state. Well, that is a really weird result. I mean, needless to say, I was not keeping track of which number was which ship. It should have been obvious that six, I had already targeted the Miyoko and identified her. So I should have seen the Miyoko. Did not, though, and just ended that a little early. Now, I'm pretty sure that she was going to sing, so it'll be interesting to see what happens when we come back in with the Dauntlesses. They are... Are they still RTB? Yeah, I think that they're still on their way back. 
yeah, Endurance 205, or 204, they're, they're still definitely on their way back. Well, we'll fix all that. We'll try to fix our mistake here. We need an hour's time, 1240, so 140, our next strike comes in. Hopefully we finish off what we started and continue our progress. Until then, thanks for watching. Stay safe and take care.